13th of November, Paris, France, 129 deaths, 352 injuries. 13th of November, Raqqa, Syria, deaths unknown, injuries unknown. The cruelties I see here are about the same, yet why don't we have any shame? Isn't it strange or insane that although we witnessed the panic, terror and disaster, we inflicted the same horror almost instantly after? We sympathize and mourn about the loss of the innocent, yet in France, their own president thought revenge was more prominent, so bombarded them. How does that make you any different from them? Do you sleep well, thinking in the now, not worrying about how or what will come of their future? Not just theirs, but that of your own people, because when the next bomb blows, you won't be around, just your own people going down. Mr. President, are you proud, leaving Paris in doubt, wondering and worrying about when the next attack will afflict them? You ask for Europe's support, so you won't be any gun short. And while my own Prime Minister might back you up, I definitely will not, because I cannot sympathize a nation under the wrong guidance of a president that fights violence with violence. Tolerance is what we need, don't get me wrong. Tolerance is a two-way street. Everyone must be able to be who they want to be, but at the same time let others be. No, we're too occupied with religion profit and territorial conquest, arguing too much about whose cause is truly best, too busy with warfare instead of healthcare, militarism over individualism, creationism instead of creating a vision. People, stop living in the future and start living in the now. Why seek heaven when beauty is right here, all around? Stop killing your brothers over whom afterlife has prettier golden paved streets. A human has needs but we have long replaced those with selfishness and greed. What are books to you? Are they always true? Perhaps, but to me they are just bundles of paper with information bloomed from, forth from someone's creative imagination, and that's okay. It's completely fine to have a faith, but faith isn't about believing anymore as of late. It's about hate, misunderstanding, and miscommunicating. Killing those that don't agree with you is in the solution to our problems. All we create are fathoms of what we think are God, gods, or prophets want from us. This world was created with differences and variety, so you can flourish your creativity to be who you want to be. Your neighbors might be different from you, but are they unequal to you because they don't do the same things as you or think as you? No. Just like how you should have the space to develop a face and your own ways, they should be able to do the same. We are all unique, one of a kind, each our own mind. But we should stop hating each other's differences or judge people on appearances. I'm not telling you to celebrate or join those from a different dominion as long as you don't suffocate or silence their opinion. You don't always have to agree with others. To let them be with wisdom and freedom in abundance. That, my friend, is what it means to be tolerant. Yeah. Tolerance.